Now let's take some time to talk about more design parameters in the propeller component. Now you'll notice that I've set this green axis here as a hinge, as a bit of a reference and a visual aid to see what it is that's happening as we adjust these parameters. So first let's go over pre-cone. And all pre-cone is, is some positive or negative angle that gives the rotor some cone. So for things like a helicopter rotor or propeller or even turbines, uh, you can give it some pre-cone. Now positive rotates the propeller blades forward, negative is going to rotate them aft. So we can set that back to zero and now start looking a bit about what this construct X over C and the feather axis and ox offset are. The construction X over C location is where each of these cross sections are being built relative to their components. So rather than having it built straight down the middle, let's say we put this at the leading edge or at zero. So what happens is all of the leading edges of these cross sections are in a straight line. So if you think of it kind of like a wing component, that's like putting a zero degree sweep at the, at the leading edge and then applying all of your cross sections. Similarly, if we take this to one, it attaches all of the trailing edges in a straight line. Okay, so if you wanna build this about the quarter cord, if you wanna build it about the mid cord, you can put it anywhere you want. The feather axis is slightly different. For right now, the feather axis is going straight down the middle of this propeller blade. But if we click on the parameter, you can see we can go even minus or positive 100 units in, the, in any direction. So the axis is going to change where along the cord line of this first section these happen to be. So let's watch what happens if we set this to zero. The entire propeller blade is now going to rotate about the leading edge of this first section. So let's go to feather now and give it a little bit of feather. Notice how the propeller blades are rotating about the leading edge of this first section. If we were to come into the blade and adjust the cord, it would all move about that point because that's where it's attached. So it's not basing it on anything downstream of that. It's using that first cross section as its reference. We can do something like one and that puts it at the trailing edge, you see. But we're not limited to only rotating inside the physical constraints of that cross section. You can set this to something like five. And now if we come in and feather, you can see that we're actually rotating the entire propeller blade about a pivot that's over here instead. So the whole thing is going to turn in one big arc. So you can do quite a lot with these and make some really complex, interesting feather mechanisms. And now with the feather offset, if we set something like 0.5 and put it back in the middle, the offset is a slightly different parameter where you can adjust it up if it's positive or down negative. So if you're looking at this, what you're watching is the axis or the feather axis where the blade is placed is going to be offset slightly above or below vertically. So if you're looking here, it's going up and down. And then if again, if we feather, we're going to have a rotation about that feather axis here now. So it's physically moving the axis off of the center and moving it here. So we're not rotating about this at some extra distance. It's actually giving it some feather offset. So now, even though the blades have been slightly moved away from that Y axis, they're still rotating about their center line. So, that gives you an idea of some additional design parameters associated with this component. 